it will come welding welding this call is now being recorded okay. welding then basic machines like turning and drilling then sheet metal works foundry works smithy works okay. so these are the things you are going to study in this lab that is in this lab group a part okay. so first you will see about what is your carpentry we already know what is carpentry okay. so carpentry is the simple connection not we don't ask you to make chair table and all we will you want to study the fittings mainly okay so table is having l connection and everything l joints are here it will be l joints is there how will we make that l joint then some t joint will be there how to make t joint these things and all uh, we will decide okay va you will study these are the tools used for carpentry okay va this and all i will explain later okay va so this is nothing but a carpentry work that is wood work full and full how to make chair how to make table suppose uh, in your home maybe chair chair or leg may be broken okay va so at that time what will be do for that everything you want to uh, study it. simply how we are what are the tools mainly you are going to concentrate about the tools and make the joints in the carpet and second one is nothing but plumbing plumbing so our pipe connections okay va suppose your tap may be some heavy leakage how will you fix this leakages okay va then uh, what are the tools used in plumbing okay va then simple what is the simple water tank connection so water tank connection what will be there tank will need having some valve output valve output kodutirupanga then directly it will come for uh, kitchen na kitchen or uh, bathroom toilet na toilet la ellathile connection kodutirupanga how will we done these all connections and all simply we want to what are the joints is uh, what is elbow elbow na na okay va t joints na na what is elbow what is t joints what is Uh, tap uh, what is uh, reducer these things and all you should understand what are these things are. okay so next one is welding we all know, we all know that what is welding okay, wow. so based on electrodes electrodes based on you are going to do metal piece metal piece we are going to use based on welding wow. so these are the your welding so what are the types of welding is that okay, wow. so we will do the some welding operations okay, wow. maybe some two லேபில் பார்த்தோன்னா இட் வில் கிவ் சம் டூ ரோட்ஸ் அயன் ரோட்ஸ் கொடுத்துருப்பாங்க யூ ஷூட் வெல்ட் லைக் திஸ் யூ ஷூட் வெல்ட் டூ அயன் ரோட்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் வெல்டிங்ஸ் அந்த லாட் ஆஃப் ப்ரிகாஷன்ஸ் வில் பி தர் ஃபார் டூயிங் வெல்டிங் யூ ஷூட் ஹேவ் அ க்ளாத் இருக்கணும் தென் ரோட்ஸ் ஃபேஸ் ஷீல்ட் எவ்ரி திங் ஷுட் பி அவைலபிள் லேப்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ ஷூட் டூ தி வெல்டிங் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் ஓகே தென் கோஃபார் பேசிக் டேர்னிங் அண்ட் ட்ரில்லிங் ஆப்ரேஷன் ஸோ பேசிக் ட்ரில்லிங் மிஷின் தன் லேத் மிஷின் லைத் மிஷினில் இருக்க பேசிக் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் ஓகேவா மேபி யூ ஹேவ் அயன் ராட் அயன் ரோட் இருக்கும் அயன் ரோட் வாங்கும்போது இட் மே பி சம் இட் வில் நாட் ஹேவ் எனி பாலிஷ்டு மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஆன் எவ்ரி திங் யூ ஷுட் கிவ் டேர்னிங் ஆப்ரேஷன் ஆன் தட் லைக் திஸ் டேர்னிங் ஆப்ரேஷன் டேப்பர் டேர்னிங் ஆப்ரேஷன் மேபி த்ரெட் யூ வாண்ட் டு மேக் த த்ரெட்னா யூ வாண்ட் டு மேக் த்ரெட்டிங் ஆன் திஸ் தென் இட் இஸ் ஆர் தி டேர்னிங் ஆப்ரேஷன் தென் ட்ரில்லிங் ஆப்ரேஷன் எவ்ரி பிடிங் வாட் இஸ் ட்ரில்லிங் ஓகேவா யூ வாண்ட் டு ட்ரில் சம் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ்னா யூ ஷுட் கோ ஃபார் கோ ஹெட் வித் drilling operation so idil vandu we have some experience okay va so we have a totally carpentry patna we have maybe a four exercise four exercise then plumbing le maybe or two or three exercise then welding also we have two or three exercise okay va so we all everything we will study the just uh, practice pandradhu mattum okay va just joints okay va we don't make any tables and chair and all table nu patna you should make for t joints or l joints nothing like that okay yeah. then pipe lo and we don't uh, go for connection for building and all just we have all the pipes every connection will be there you should uh, give a tank will be there okay yeah. so you should give the exact connection for tanks and all for a small in a table or like that okay similarly for welding welding also we have to work piece work piece will be there that work piece you should are going to weld something okay these are the things in welding turning also we are going to do. then sheet metal works sheet metal works will partner we have a and uh, these are the basic examples for the sheet metals car or uh, bodies and uh, and uh, some trays and everything so in uh, in our uh, practice lab we are generally go for simple sheet metal cuttings then based on the sheet metal you should create some funnels like this you should create some funnels okay you should create some funnels or uh, you should create some rectangle tray like that these are the experience in case of uh, sheet metal works okay in case of sheet metal works. Okay. then lastly patna we have foundry operations foundry and smithy operations 
Yeah. So mainly, what is the difference? We are foremost uh, things is that foundry, what is foundry and what is smithy. This is both the uh, two operations. Mainly, for the smithy operation in the sense we have some iron rods, iron rods and other sir. So we are going to give some um, heating operation on this. Other that, other that part, we will ch change the shapes and size of these materials by it is in hot. Eva. So smithy operations. Eva. Only on the scissor, they are ready for normal. Same as like that. Then foundry operation, but we have mold, mold for uh, for mold and cavity. Everything will be there. We are going to pour the molten metals, molten vessels, and you are going to get the desired shapes. Maybe you want to get some vessels or one balls or one dumbbells like that. Everything will be manufactured based on your mold and foundry operations. So these are the basic things. What is the things you are going to study or we are going to do the experiments based on this. So firstly, I tell what is a carpentry, carpentry and now woodworks and everything is called as carpentry. So in this we are going, what we are going to do in our lab now, you are going to just joints, T joints and L joints and, and uh, dovetail joints, how we are going to give supplies of it joints and that. Yeah. So today I will explain fully about this uh, carpentry works. Yeah. Fully about this uh, carpentry works. Then next class we will see the plumbing and welding and all. We have three three classes in the course. So in three class we will finish all this. So mainly what now we are concentrating about carpentry, plumbing, welding exercise, turning exercise, sheet metal exercise. Then foundry and smithy is the is we are going to give the only steady experience. So because it is molten metal, it is some difficult to make this molten metal and all over here. We have all the experience. Yeah. So in the mold to prepare panicla, but uh, metal mold panni we don't uh, we have facility, but then uh, the personal we don't give that one. Yeah, because it is some dangerous work. That's why. Okay, wow. So furnace is there, but uh, we don't practice this. We how to make the mold that we can take. See. Okay. So so let's uh, start the carpentry. So either anybody having doubt what you are going to study. I doubt Rajapa. Just respond me. Okay. So either these are the things we are going to study. Okay. So let's we start directly go for uh, carpentry. First one I will explain what are the experiences that are in carpentry. Then I have one demo video how the carpentry works is carried out. Okay, so uh, the demo video would I will explain everything how you are going to do the carpentry works. Okay, so so let's start with having four exercises. Mainly. Four exercises. Yeah. Okay, well, so before that, I will explain what is carpentry, what are the tools. Mainly, you should understand the tools. Okay, well. So, Chima, if you are going to buy in a you are going to buy something or you want to buy a sisal or you want to buy a mallet like that. If on the local language, you may be tell Sutti Wang for Sutti in Sulong, Sutti Wang, nails like that you will tell. So what are the technical words for that? These are the tools used for a carpet. So mainly Patna, mainly what are the materials you are going to use? Right? It is called as timber wooden sulonga. It is nothing but timber wooden sulonga. Timber wooden nothing is there. We having a tree, tree and then we know cut pan yet to one day. We'll make it in a desired shape. The Mari Karata desired shape on the ready pan nature pan. Desired shape on the ready pan nature pan. This woods is nothing but. Timber wood. Okay. Yeah, please you uh, put in mute. Man. Okay. So, uh, uh, Sanjit Kumar. Sanjit. Please mute yourself. Sanjit. Sir, good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah, good morning, good morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, continue. Ah, okay, sir. So, 
Mainly this is a uh, sure, uh, timber woods. Okay, wow. so mainly Padna, this and all uh, you should just understand what are the woods you are going to use to for in uh, carpentry works and all. Okay, wow. So mainly we have uh, two types of woods is the one one that is called as soft wood, another one is called as hard woods. Soft wood as well as hard woods. Okay, wow. I think is that the main difference is that one where you are getting the soft wood and where you are getting this hard woods. Wow. The soft woods mainly will get the long needed shaped leaves. Yeah. Similarly, in case of uh, hard woods, you will obtain from trees. Generally, what you will do, tree you will cut and take that. That is called as hard woods. Yeah. So mainly, but in your uh, homes, uh, doors, uh, windows, everything will be you will use the hard woods. Hard woods. Yeah. So these are the basic woods what are used. Then next we will go for the carpentry tools. This is very important. And this is your uh, first experiment, that is study of carpentry tools. This is your first experiment. In the experiment, only you should write in uh, records. Study of carpentry tools. Okay, wow. That record or a soft copy, and all, I will uh, I will create one classrooms, Google Classroom, as you all should join in the classrooms. And I will post uh, all the notes and PPT and everything for your EPL lab there. Okay, wow. So we have limited uh, of times. So you should start writing today onwards. Records. Okay, so I will explain what are the tools. Is that mainly, but now we have eight eight groups of tools in carpentry. Mainly, we are decided into eight kinds. That is, one one is your marking tools. The tools used to mark the dimension in the woods. Mainly, that is the purpose of your uh, marking tools. So, uh, suppose I need to cut the 200 mm uh, wooden piece. So, 200 or what you will do? Take a scale and mark 200 mm. Then you will cut the tools. Yeah, okay, that is nothing but your marking tools. Then measuring tools. Measuring tools in the sense you want to measure that 200 mm. Because on that I need to measure. That is nothing but a measuring tool. Okay, yeah. then third one is your holding tool. Holding means you want to hold the material. Now, the material on the number no hold pan no fitting no. Okay, so that is only what are the tools we are going to use. That is bench wise and clamp in the matter. This and all that is called as holding tool. Then so fourth one is a cutting tool. Cutting tool now to material only we are going to cut as per your requirement. Maybe I need the 400 mm length of material. I want to cut this now to so look for cutting tools. Okay. Next one is a planning tool. Planning tool now for surface finish. Now we have yellow one. That is now no cheaply one one solo. Tamil. Okay. So on the material only smooth and under the surface should be smooth, very smooth. That is why we use under. Tools on the is called as planning tools. Okay, wow. Then next one is your boring tool. Boring tool but now we're going to drilling. Drilling uh, drilling maria tha. boring but now we almost drilling maria or top or no. Then Ulla on the again which in the past cut for no. This is the boring tool. Then similarly for scribbling and miscellaneous tools on the other than other than these operations, what are the tools? Suppose we are going to remove the and the ani all remove nails all remove under the wood. Ani all material all remove from now. Or maybe stapler, stapler. You want to remove the stapler from the wood and everything will be done. So that will now we are going for. That's all. We will come for a miscellaneous. So we are just we will go. Firstly, we can go for what are the tools and what are the things and all. So first now we will go for marking tool. Marking tool. Mainly, but now we have for mainly we are going. Generally, we are using these are the. For marking tools, okay, well, first one is called as marking gauges. Marking gauges. See this in the diagram. Okay, well, so it is having some sharp edges over here. The sharp edges on the it will create one impression on the woods. Then in this side, on the side one day we have in that little like the silver. In that little we have a scale. Scale also. Okay, well, scale ke tamari we can uh, mark the tools. Okay, well, otherwise in our line scale matte you can tighten this. Scale on the we can measure two mm na. Two mm measure for it, tight point. You should directly you can mark based on marking gauges. Then this tie square, everybody know. Everybody will be see this one tie square. Okay, well, this is mainly used for uh, perpendicularity of the material. Okay, well, so correct time you cut for now. Correct the perpendicular line. If you stay the cut for now, now how will you do? Will mark the lines based on this tie squares. Okay, well, this is our uh, tie squares. Then next, this is used for perpendicular purpose. Okay, well, correct the. Uh, I need to 90 degree. I like want to cut the work piece. That purpose we are use for uh, price square. 
then next one is scribber scribber na it is uh, nothing but a pencil like material okay edana na you want to make a mark on this wood wood la namo pencil vechi mark pannala maybe it won't be come so so on that time you will use for uh, scribber this is engineer scribber it on the tip paathana unukku it will be iron dots iron mari da okay va irumba da irukum okay va or metal some other material okay va so metal piece ah da irukum then script pannu நம்பர் <laughs> it is measuring tool than a sar ke pa no it is measuring na the scale it is used for measuring but it is may what is the main purpose of your uh, tri square it is used to draw the line or you want to mark the line exactly perpendicular to the object so na correct a cut panna surface vandu kone ella cut aagakudadu that is will be inclined shape and everything you can change based on this uh, tri square okay so scribber and scribber these are the marking tools then next one is your measuring tools measuring tools everybody know what is the steel rule steel rule or what then similarly everybody know on the round tower uh, uh, excuse me sir ah uh, yes tell me please just speak in english sir yeah yes yeah, surely man surely man okay so carpentry steels this is nothing but your uh, steel ruler okay ma this is your steel ruler similarly you will know that is round type of tap round type of tap will be the Yeah, that's also we can use to for measuring tools. Yeah, these are the measure mainly. They only measure the length. We are going to measure the length only. Okay, wow. So next one is our uh, folding tools. Folding tools. Folding na mainly you want to fix the workpiece in somewhere. Okay, wow. Suppose you are you are working in a table, let's go. Table you are working in a table. So we want to fix the workpiece in a table. Okay, wow. So table fix one uh, fix one tool will be used to for carpentry wise. will be for carpentry wise okay wow. so in this wise in between these two here we are going to fix the your wood here we are going to fix your wood tower okay wood like that you are going to fix then uh, tight it based on this lever tight one the problem what will do we will uh, exactly will do the planing operation maybe cutting operation everything will be then after cutting so wow. this is a carpentry wise then now uh, no i want to just to hold all work piece i am going to i'll give the suppose i having two work piece like this two wooden work piece like this i want to hold this material suppose i give the some very call in between this to joining this work two work piece i'll give the very call then based on the g clamp i'll hold this two work piece like this maybe okay so if we call on it will take for two five or 10 second so 10 minutes to join to work piece so on that time i will use for a g clamp like this to clamp in the work piece so yeah. then what is this bench stop na bench stop na if suppose i have any, i don't have any i don't need for a carpentry wise for planning operations or planning operations i don't need for carpentry wise wise mala i want need to find to fix and i will do the planning operation it will be some somewhat difficult for sir so on that time i will do for a bench stop you yeah. so how will bench stop now this is a clamp actually it may be some table or chair will be there so table on the your material will be fixed like this in a table your material will be fixed like this okay then your workpiece will be here okay so you will give the force in this direction for planning operation planning na it is something you are going to give the surface finish operation as well so on that time it will be like this. okay so these are the holding tools mainly used for uh, carpentry works okay next one is your uh, cutting tool cutting tool so mainly but now we have two types of cutting tool first one is saw second one is chills scissors and so on scissors yeah scissors and saws yeah saws in the saws and all you everybody know what are these things and all these types of saw this is called as rip saw this is called as rip saw this is cross cut saw so on the uh, big uh, uh, maybe some trees and everything will be cut based on this uh, 
cross cut rows. Then tendon and a uh, back source. Only general and home center will use this cut these center elements. These are the types of source. Then sisals. Sisals mainly based on this shape. The shape based money sisal may be divided like this. So first one is former sisal. This is a general sisal. Then more set sisal. Everything will be used to cut the uh, cut your uh, work piece on it. Okay, so work piece on a small portions you want to remove now. We are using sisals. We can remove a small portion like this. Suppose I having work piece like this. I want to take a groove like this like this guru so in this time you will use for chisel chisel to remove this center you will chisel over here then you will remove these all materials then i finish the product you will get uh, like this okay finish product you will get like this okay this is the main use for scissors okay these are all uh, different different types of scissors that's all all purpose will be like the same one then next one is plan Planning now, I uh, already told what is planning. Planning now, we need to do the surface finish of the material. You want surface finishing now, you have to not having a worker. You should using this uh, jack plane. The jack plane is the diagram. Everybody will be see this one. What is jack plane? You want to do the surface finish of the materials now, you will be the, you will mainly use it for uh, jack planes. Then, similarly for a uh, rabbit plane, both are same. And this is a uh, newest one. This is both purpose will be for finishing the office. This is small edges and everything you want to, we no need for go for jack planes. Directly we can use for this a tool. Different different tools we can fix over here. This. Okay. So next one is boring tool. Boring tool is mainly used to go for a drilling operation or we want to put some holes, holes in the, in the workpiece and everything. So mainly you go for gym lat, hand drill and richard place. Yeah. Inlet means now you may be like shafted edge with that you want to give you some holes and everything. Then hand drill, this is everybody know this one. In that we will fix for drill bit. We will fit the drill bit over here, drill bit and rotate over here. Then we will give some pressure in the top. And automatically the hole will be created on the workpiece. Then Richard base and uh, hand drill almost same. In this, we having a rotating bar. In the other we having this one. See here how he is doing the operations. Okay, these are a uh, Richard brace. Okay. Next one is our striking. Striking now you are mainly a shooting so long. Your hammer. Your mainly two types of things is are first one is hammer, second one is mallet. Okay. What is hammer? What is mallet? It's okay. Hammer is nothing but mainly two types. Cross pin hammer and claw hammer. Based on the shapes only. See here how will be the edges. Triangle edges will be there. In other side, cylindrical or flattened surface will be there. Then claw edges will be there to remove nails and everything. We having some clamp. Then another side we have one suit. This on the general suit in Solola. We will use in the house and we will use this. Thing. Then this is the main mallet. Mallet now it having wooden piece. Okay, wow. Suppose it may be iron rods and everything will be there. So it will damage the your wood piece. So in that times mainly we will use for mallet. Okay, wow. Round mallet is the rectangular mallet is there. Maybe rectangular mallet on the it may be a iron piece. It may be an iron piece and everything. Okay, wow. But in that part now we have a wooden piece, full and full wooden. Okay, wow. Mainly used for wooden piece is to avoid the surface damage of the wood. You are want you want to press one mallet. So these are nothing but two striking tools. Then what are the means? Other than this, other than this, what are the tools which is that? Pincer is that. This is for previously I told that what is the purpose of this? To remove the nails. Okay, by and the screw and everything from wood to now we will use to for uh other pin plus funny will uh, remove that. Then screwdriver, everybody know what is the purpose of screwdriver to tighten the screws and everything. Then this one is nothing but a wrap spiral so long. Wrap spiral in that little part now you will see, you will see mulu mulu marir like this. So this is not a smooth surface, it is a rubbed surface. So finish the some rubbed surface. Then oil stand. Oil stand is the main use to sharpen your knife and everything. These are the miscellaneous tools used for carpentry works. 
so these are first ex first experiments so one so i'll send you the manuals okay. that manual on the you don't in the very tedious diagrams to what will be there it will be easy diagrams only in your books okay. so that uh, manual i will send to you that that you can uh, draw your the diagrams is there no issue okay easy avare mari da irukum so don't worry about the sorry idella na avare no mona not like that okay. so it will be easy diagram okay. so these are the basics of your uh, carpent yeah so let's directly we can go for our experiment what are the things you are going to do the experiments okay so experiment pathna we have uh, planning uh, 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 sir uh, uh, sir uh, students uh, still if you have any doubt you can discuss or any time you want interact you can interact with the uh, okay uh, staff sir uh, arun sir okay students uh, please hope this is a open forum if you have any doubt then and there you have to ask okay or otherwise you can note down the doubt we will discuss uh, end of the class every end of the classes okay right so we i think we will take the live demo also we are going to give in the lab also we are going to record the experimental procedure or process we are going to display uh, in the next class okay now you have try to understand the basic things we will going to display your video also right so if you have any doubt or then and there you can discuss or you can ask end of the class also okay right anyone can you respond okay sir. yes sir okay right thank you yes sir okay okay bashman if you have a doubt you can ask the intense also no issue okay va wow. we will interact it no issue so this is not a theory class and it's a practical class okay va wow. so uh, you should ask doubts what are the things is there okay, wow. so mainly patna we have uh, four exercises okay wow. so in case of uh, this uh, while time being we will discuss how many record how many experiments you want to write in that okay, wow. so mainly we will do for uh, four or five experiments generally okay, wow. so first one is uh, planning second one is t joint third one is crop lab joint then last one is a uh, doubt type joint okay, wow. so as we will see what is plan planning na the one material they will give to you okay wow. maybe some size so here for uh, this aim and procedure is given so mainly you want to do the planning for planning and now you want to make the surface finish of this material then you should cut the material based on the given dimension suppose uh, maybe your soft wood is given for you for the dimension of 305 55 and 50. what is this dimension actually we know how will be this what is 305 305 is your length correct then 55 is your width then this is a height length width height this is your given dimension okay va ungalku koduthiruka work piece oda dimension okay va given dimension from this you want to make the work piece based on the dimension 300 50 and 30 okay va this is your purpose okay va so enna pannirukom 300 305 is the so we change to 300 300 a change pannirukom so what you will do you want to cut the 5 mm or you want to plan the 5 mm so in the surface la enna pannirukom nane plan pannirukom so a plan pannirukom the surface on the based on this planning tool the planning tool based on the using by this planning tool i use plan the surface so similarly for height how much you reduce 30 you want to take we have already 55 is that so 2.5 mm that is 2.5 cm that is 25 almost 25 mm you want to reduce you are by planning this is your first step very simple action you will give one work piece you want to cut the work piece and you should make the work piece according to the dimensions you are it's a basic experiment you are this experiment will including upcoming all experiment first steps you are maybe work piece will be given to you so what you will do the first one take the work piece and cut the work piece to a desired shape then desired dimension then after that you will make the joints okay yeah, that you will do the Arun sir, uh, ah, sir. Uh, sorry, ah, sorry sir. for the interrupting. Ah, uh, students, actually we will give a unmeasured uh, uh, four piece only. You have to measure. The data is not given in our experiment. We will give the raw material. You have to measure and write, and then uh, what is the shape required? We will mark it in the diagrams. Clear? So if you are going to give the work piece to you, you have to measure. 
so we will not give this uh, the data actually okay. Okay, okay whatever the data is there i mean the piece is there you have to measure you have to measure what is the length of the piece is there and what is the width and what is the height you have to measure and write it and what is the required dimension so it is marked in the diagrams so as for the required dimension you have to reduce all the uh, values uh in the data number tara matam avanga da paya okay right okay that's for example i will given this yeah 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 okay right thank you thank you okay ba as per sir said in the this 305 55 55 all that what are the work piece i got okay ba the raw raw material it will be there that raw material work piece size so from this what the size you are getting that size you want to reduce to like this okay, this is the first experiment planning experiment so very easy only nothing to worry about main thing is that you should understand what are the tools used for this material jack plane you want to ask our attender what is i want jack plane to plan the material like that so then he will produce our work piece and try square you want to then what is the use of marking gauge then what is the use of teal scale so and rip so and everything it is used over here okay ba so you should understand what are the main tools used to for do these operations so then directly you go for second option yeah so firstly we will get the raw material work piece then work piece and number we will decide into an exact shape what you want to do what you actually want okay yeah. and the shape to go and we will change yeah. so next one is a t lab join okay yeah. the wording it will be there in for t t nana it should have some t shapes you yeah. are you are going to some chair table all are there we having top table no chair table or edge it have t shapes all are there you are edge or middle of the table we have t shapes and the t shape how you are going to make you okay, are so here also but now we have a dimension 1 2 3 4 2 3 20 in this dimension you want to make the t joints t joints you okay, are so this having one the more video for this just uh, i'll play this one demo video how he is making this t joint hey is it audible yes sir yes sir ah yes yes sir the lava okay 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 just uh, video ja video video sound varla pa video sound varla sir varla varla ah one second one second arka kasadaga in this video we are going to see about the power of making a t joint aran play pannunga so this is the work piece which has to be converted into this t joint and if you split the t joint it will have two different uh, parts so one is having a... okay ba students this is a 15 minutes video okay ba so just governing how he is making this uh, work piece particular group and other will be fixing over this so before going into the video let us now have a small analysis about what are all the tools to be used for uh, making t join so they are jack plane for smoothing the surface then carpenter vise for holding tri square marking gauge steel rule for measuring tenons or ribs or former chisel for cutting and mallet and first we'll have a small understanding about the dimension of the work piece so the one part of the work piece should be around 150 mm in length which is 15 cm so this entire length is 150 mm and the height of this piece is around 30 mm so this height is 30 mm and we are going to make a small groove or we are going to remove a small portion from this wooden piece whose depth is around 15 mm so we are going to remove a wooden piece of 15 mm in depth so we are going to remove this so this should be placed exactly at the 
middle of this particular wooden piece and uh, this entire uh, length is 40 mm so we are going to take 40 mm length and 15 mm depth of material from this particular uh, wooden piece and next is the top position of the T joint in order to fix it we have to remove again a 15 mm from this wooden piece so that it will be placed over the base piece again the length of this wooden material is same 150 mm and uh, the width is 40 mm and the height is 30 mm so in this 30 mm we are going to exactly remove half of the portion at a length of 40 mm so this entire length is 150 mm exactly at 40 mm we are going to remove for 50 mm 15 mm depth so this is what the entire operation is once after doing all this if you fix a uh, two parts we can get a t joint so this is what we are going to do this is the workpiece we are going to convert as t joint initially you have to check for the surface finish or surface smoothness then you have to measure the dimensions so as per the dimension given it is at one side it is 40 mm and uh, at the other side it is 30 mm so the dimensions are everything okay then the entire length of the workpiece is 300 mm which is 30 centimeter so you have to split the workpiece into two halves so that you can make two different parts so for splitting you are just marking exactly at 15 centimeter which is the exact half of the workpiece once after marking at 15 centimeter using tri square we can also make lines using scale but it will not be straight or it will not be perpendicular so in order to make a perpendicular line we are using tri square while using tri square the base should be in contact with the workpiece which is the one is holding in his hand should exactly touch the workpiece so that it can make exact right angle So now we are just marking the line all over the workpiece in order to split into two halves. So this is what the initial step. Once after marking 150 mm, we are not going to cut. We will be cutting the piece into two halves at the end. So now you can mark the section says A and B for our uh, identification we are marking at A and B now to remove a portion at the middle or uh, at the exact half of the workpiece we are just marking the middle point which is 75 mm this is the middle portion and then from this middle point we have to mark 20 mm at the left and right which means it will create 40 mm exactly at the center point of the wooden workpiece so we are going to mark 20 mm left and right from the middle of the section A so now we have clearly marked the exact middle portion and this particular portion has to be removed to a depth of 15 mm. So this is where you have to remove at a depth of 15 mm. And at section B, we have to mark 40 mm, which is to be placed over the base. So this is 40 mm, 
we using steel rule and uh, tri square we have marked 40 mm so tri square is very very essential for making perpendicular lines if you are using steel rule there is a chance of inclination so whenever you need a straight line you have to use tri square straight and perpendicular line you have to use tri square so at section b we have marked 40 mm so after this we have to take away 15 mm so for that using steel rule we are marking 15 mm at different uh, points so here you can use either steel rule and a pencil or else you can go for marking gauge while you're using marking gauge you have to fix the marking pin at a particular dimension which is 15 mm so now we have uh, clearly fixed the marking pin at exactly 15 mm so the marking pin is clearly, clearly available at 15 mm and hold the workpiece firmly and use the marking gauge to make a straight line over the workpiece exactly at 15 mm now you can clearly see a small cut over the workpiece which is dividing the workpiece into two because the height of the workpiece is 30 mm so we are exactly splitting the workpiece into two or we are drawing a line exactly at the middle of the workpiece and even at the other side you have to use a marking gauge to create a line at 15 mm so the speciality of marking gauge is that you can create a straight line straight parallel line for the workpiece you can see a small marking over the workpiece which is exactly at 15 mm which is exactly at the middle of the workpiece since we are beginner in carpentry it is very very essential to make shapes using pencil and marking is over now it's time for cutting so before using rip saw we have to make a small platform for the rip saw to place so for that purpose we have to use chisel which will make a small cut over the workpiece so this will make the rip saw to be in a particular position so without this there is a possibility of sliding of rip saw over the workpiece so now you can see a small groove where rip saw will be placed now hold the workpiece firmly over the carpenter's bench wise the workpiece where you are going to cut should be kept away from the carpenter's bench wise and using rip saw make a cut till the 15 mm line you are going to remove only 15 mm from the workpiece so you have to make a cut only till 15 mm line that is why we have marked 15 mm and you have to repeat the procedure for the other side also or the other line also so this entire width is around 40 mm and for the top side of the t joint again you have to do the same you have to make a cut using rip saw for a depth of 
15 mm so be careful while cutting so not supposed to make a cut beyond the 15 mm line marking now it's time to remove the unwanted portion by using chisel so before using chisel we have to hold the workpiece firmly by using clamp and uh, we cannot remove the entire portion in a single stroke because that may break the workpiece so you have to remove a very small portion and you have to repeat the same procedure while using chisel the tap out portion should face towards the portion where you are going to remove and only half of the workpiece has been removed thank you mr sesha three of uh, mechanical engineering department thank you sesha three for spending your time in making t joint while striking give a strong strike and also it should be gentle now half of the 15 15 mm depth has been removed and the remaining half has, to, has also to be removed now repeat the same procedure for the next half you can see how he is holding the chisel and a very gentle strike is enough to remove the unwanted portion so depending upon the width of the material to be removed you can change the type of chisel we have two types of chisel one is firmer chisel and second one is smoother chisel so that's all we have taken a 15 mm depth and 40 mm width groove and for the other side we have to repeat the same procedure the tap out face of the chisel has to face towards the unwanted material and you have to remove only one half and even in that one half you have to remove by portions the flat portion should face over the material what we are going to hold so in a hurry if you are going to remove the entire portion in a single strike it may damage the entire workpiece and there is a possibility of breakage now it is time for splitting the work piece into two so for that we have to make a small base by using chisel and hold the work piece then using rips are cut into two now the work piece is over we have split it into two but again it is not completely over we have to check for the fitting even though it fits well we have to do some finishing work also
So you can see some rough surfaces over the workpiece. So it should be removed by using file. We have something called as filing tool. This tool is used for creating a smooth finish. This should be at the final stage. We have uh, metal jack planes also, but that will remove huge materials, but this is only for fining, fine tuning. So it will remove some excess material. Once after filing is over, the workpiece is ready and this is all about T-joint. I hope you have come to know about the process of making T-joint by using various tools in carpentry. Yeah, okay, Pa. Okay, students. Okay, it's audible now. The cake is a lever. You want to use the stone? Okay, okay. Yes, so, I will see how you are going to make the joint. Uh, if you understand that one, or any doubt is there, how he is made, we'll practice it. Don't worry about it. Okay, wow. so it's just an. Uh, online class so that's why i will show your video while coming to college after this uh, pandemic you will turn in our lab now is sure. maybe anna university may be taken your labs in everything in uh, online now it may be you want to write some procedures and uh, tools uh, tools records and everything you should in uh, paper and you should to scan and upload like that and now you are how you are going to write the exams that pattern only maybe online now it will be patterned that way. That's why I shown the video how he is making. So for, for that purpose, you should write the procedure and everything also. So you are, for example, end of you, if it is an online exam, you should write the, you should draw this diagram neatly. Then you should write what is the aim, what is the material. Then in that time, you will maybe get some size also for online exam. And you should not down the your material size. Then you should write what are the tools you need for making this. Then you should write the procedure for making this. You are first to take the workpiece and hold in the work, hold in a, a bench wise and uh, make the planning of all surfaces finished like that. You should uh, write the your own words, your own words, you should write the, what are the procedure is done. Yeah. So everything I'll give you manually. Manually, I'll have a form, so you should follow that. So why? If it is not in online, if you offline exam now, you should do in our lab this experiment what he has done in this video. Similarly, you should do the experiments. Okay, pa. So I think everybody understands what is actually carpentry works, what are the things is done. Okay, so this is our uh, second experiment, T lab join. So you already uh, any doubt regarding this? Anyone, please respond. Doctor Kada, can I just respond? No, sir. Okay, okay, fine. When I respond, one minute, then only I will understand. Okay, okay, because I am in full screen mode, I can't able to see your students is there or not. Now I think that he is seven only there. Okay, so three, four, five left, I think. Okay, anyway, do it. Yeah, so it's a lab only no issue. So next third experiment is your cross lab join. Similarly, what will done in T join? T join I yeah, mean in T join. So a lab join it will make a X shape. What is your plus shape? Like this. Your shape will be like this in case of your 
cross lap join yeah so you will get the similarly what ta uh, is done in that uh, t join similarly you will get the full shape work piece okay wow. so full shape that is 100 100 is done so you should first you should cut the 200 mm work piece first 200 mm work piece ne, you should mark 100 mm 100 mm then in middle of this mark middle you should mark with 50 mm similarly here in middle you should mark 50 mm then while using scissors you should cut this uh, 50 mm portion as what uh, done in t joint similarly in case of another work, another portion you should remove this uh, shaded part then by using saw you should cut it into two pieces like this piece one and piece two then join to the cross lap joints yeah. so this is a third experiment cross lap joint yeah. so this also have videos but i didn't go for play for this yeah. so same process adu enna what is done in t joint same process this is t shape this is plus shapes i said it you are cross lap you are you are now it's a lap joint lap joint na lap na na madi in solvanga madi mele ukkana ipdi irukum urthar mele urthar ukkana maari irukum you are so one of your uh, lap il undu somebody is going to sit so similarly for lap this is t lap you are so this one one joint is there another one joint is there so two work is you are so in the work is a le from this work is a b is going to sit on this sit over here so that is nothing but lap lap joint okay so one mele one ukkar porom that is nothing but lap joint so what shape it is t shape so that's why it's called as t lap joint the next one is cross lap joint because it is a shape of cross cross lap joint so then last step you are dovetail joint okay similarly for cross or t joint t joint we have a square shape we having a exactly rectangular shape over here rectangle or square shape but in case of dovetail joint so what is the main uh, disadvantage of this d joint is not but it may be removed your this this one yeah. so yeah, i hold this i easily hold this d joint i factor here it will be easy to work through it only but what is the main uh, disadvantage is for this we need to place some nails or uh, some screws or one something to hold this thing. or otherwise you to want to use some heavy for to fix this to work this so this joint itself it got not be done you need some screws or some heavy for or to use this or everything whatever it may be you want to do for fixing these two pieces but in case of dovetail joint this is a shape so it's the shape we no need for any screw and everything it will not be removed from this portion so yeah, because it is in a trapezoidal shape ट्रपिसन Draw the marking like this first. You should draw the marking. Mark your work piece like this. Then, based on which of you are going to cut this red circles, this red circles. Then, by using chisels, you are going to remove the side of this chisels. Chisels. What is the main purpose of chisels? Is nothing but to remove the material in between the work piece. So, so in that case, you know, you should use the chisels. So, the cells used for now, you can make the tools and everything over there. Similarly, here also, so you should mark the trapezoidal shape based on the dimension. dimension. So, this is a uh, dovetail joint. So, uh, so in, in the, in the for us, I think so. So, uh, so mainly this uh, today evening or uh, evening within evening, I will send you Google Classroom link in your WhatsApp group. Okay. Yeah. Joined it that in that uh, Google Classroom I will upload your uh, manual up to carpentry. So you know, what are the things I done up to carpentry? I will upload the manual. Try the cut and uh, try to write write it. Write and keep it ready everything. 
Okay, we don't know when you have labs in the university once and all. Okay, so, but you should ready for your uh, records. Record is the main important. In case of if he's going to held in online exam, na, your record is the record of the okay, na, You study these things and all. I done this and all. Okay. okay. So, if it is offline, na, you, can, you should come to college and uh, give, give your training. Three to four days you need to do training. How you are going to decide to answer that. Yeah. So main thing is that you should finish these all works in an one and a half hours in case of if you are having online and offline exam. So a card will be one to 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 Okay, so your today, what are the what are the things we studied? What are the things you are going to study in this uh, lab in Patrick? Okay, and then you also uh, study only the Tarkat. Tarkat is a good one. Good one, so mainly we don't have uh, anybody have doubts. Don't forget, don't forget, what happened in doubt? No doubts. Okay, okay, we understand. Okay, so okay, good. Okay, so then, so these are the things, and uh, what are the two? You should understand these two. Okay, wow. So, how will be your uh, record now? I will show one. Okay, so this is the record. Okay, so So, this simple diagram, strong proper district diagram. What are the diagrams you can draw? You can draw. Okay, this is a very simple diagram. You can draw these simple diagrams. Like this. These are the simple diagrams you can draw. Okay, so you can draw the saw diagram. This is a very simple diagram. What are the things you can draw? You can draw. Okay, strong proper tedious diagram. This is all simple diagrams here. Yeah. So how we can read the and the other. Yeah. This is a matter of you are striking the other way. This is all diagram. This is a steady experiment. Yeah. This is a first experiment. Steady of carpentry tools. Yeah. Don't go for a... Then this is a first experiment. Planning. Yeah. So planning here, this diagram you should learn. Yeah. Yeah. You already know how you are going to write the record. Yeah. Only the one half of the record should be used. Yeah. So left side, you should write everything in the right side. Then in the left side, you should draw the line. Yeah. Don't write that. I will look at the middle. We have two portions like this. Two portions like this. So you have like two portions in the middle. So here, you should write. So this is the one portion, this one part. You should write everything in your right side. You should write right side. Then left side is the diagram. All diagram. We already practiced that. Plus two. Biology exam, lab and everything you should write. So, what are things you are going to write? That should be at the right side. Then diagram should be at left side. 
or similarly this guy that's why in the guy one is now then after that you are to write actually in the one planning and if you write the date you can uh, use the data if you will write on your show then date material or other then you should write the procedure yeah so i think it's that just copy the function just uh, whatever things you just say you know all this firmly and clamp to the work is so you should clamp to work in the work then i just this up is by using like to then by using right square right angle with the plane that check for everything so fast then you should like and what i mean is that we we this we can be work this we don't still get that similarly for the diagram the diagram to so all this diagram yeah this so the diagram is now on the already ready to be you are that go the diagram for know how what to do this angle next angle so you know ओके so within today evening i will think i will uh, today i will be college so i will need to go to go and take the google classroom and i will send the google classroom link everybody should be done in google classroom okay here uh, before that who is a class rector for this representative are come the representative okay one is the rector तो यार ऐसे यार ना करते नहीं थे यार ये सुन लो यार ये जरूरी बोल लिया वो तो ओ इतना भी तो ऑनलाइन में ऑनलाइन क्लास में जो एक वन की डिस्कवर है तो ओके एनीवे लेकिन ओके आई नो जस्ट आई वांट टू टेक वर्क मच स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू फॉर दैट सो वेल आई एम हैप्पी टू ओके ऑलमोस्ट टू दैट इफ ओके आई थिंक सो ओके एनीवे लीव इट आई विल डिस्कस विद सेंट्रल सर दैट यू आर नेम दिस Okay, and everybody is there in uh, WhatsApp group, am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, yes. okay. So I will send the link to through WhatsApp. That will be better. Don't go for mail ID, sir. Okay, I will send you a link to WhatsApp. You join in the classroom. Yeah, I think it's a classroom. I will send this to the PPT. I also send it back. So what? The PPT and that are the video link. So I will send it to you. उंड so almost uh, lockdown alla irukkanga okay va so better uh, maybe go for second next two wave it may be come to so, uh, for that you should buy all the cards so uh, maybe for dpl uh, lab dpl uh, group to a you should create one the card and group b you should create one the card so, uh, so mechanical and civil separate the card and electrical and electronic separate the card okay va uh, everything will be separate exam will be separate everything will be separate okay then the mark also separate internal mark also separate half part of the iron put and half part of the electric stuff okay va so if you have this lab having two lab in your project okay va so in this sense but na maybe you have this in the or like that okay, apart from you have epl lab na epl lab in the sense you have two lab so okay, group a epl lab and group b epl lab so you should write two records and two exams and two class okay va so 50 only 50 marks lab will be for 50 Not for hundred marks. Okay, wow. so two PA will be hundred mark, fifty mark. That two will be fifty. Similarly, jointly you will get hundred. Okay, wow. so you will only you will get ten mark. That will be ten mark. You will get totally fifty. Maybe mechanical you may be done some good work. You will get forty-eight mark. But electrical you will get only ten mark. Forty-eight plus ten will be fifty-eight mark. Like that, your mark will be. Okay, wow. so in the third round it will be decided as your pass. Okay, wow. 
because if here i will take 38.1 then i get to get like 20 mark then i you don't think should be paid and you need to pass the 50 mark okay yeah. so both level should be very important so easy only nothing is there apart from mechanical electrical will be very very easy nothing is there you want to take some bulb connection or light connection diode connection like that will be very very simple already you can get plus two pieces that same thing or most same thing is going to be Let me let me try that. Ma'am, we'll discuss in the afternoon. Okay. So today I will stop here. Yes, go on, sir. Ah, sir. Okay. Now we're two minutes. Sir. Ah, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ne, we are open, is no? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, first. Ah. Uh,